Now let's finish our second example uh, that we did. This one for this particular expression. And uh, the last thing uh, we need to do is uh, uh, to get the final expression, the simplified expression, out of uh, out of uh, groups. So uh, I remind you, we have uh, three groups here. And uh, what we do, as we did in previous video, so we perform step four, that is getting the simplified expression out of groups. And now let's uh, let's do that. Uh, we write. Let, let's say we write first group uh, one. Group one, and the group one will be. We will start from the le from. Uh, let's start from the left. This group. Let's do this group. And uh, as in the last example, we list uh, all the possible uh, combinations. So we have A, B, C, variables A, B, C, and all the possible possible combinations uh, in this kernel map are as follows. We have uh, 1, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, then we have 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, then 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, uh, 1, then 0, 0, 1, 0, 0. So what we just did, we just listed the cases that correspond to each cell in this group that we marked as blue and we called that group 1. And uh, as you remember, the way to get uh, an expression is to evaluate what variables in each group have uh, meaning, have effect on the f on the expression. Uh, so I will write I will I will write the word result here. Result. And as we did the last time, we did we see. Uh, what what uh, of the variables doesn't matter in this uh, uh, in this group? So we see that, for example, uh, C C for this cell C is one, as you can see here. For this cell C is zero, and we. And uh, if we see that the variable changes, and that a certain variable changes in the in kernel map, that means that this variable has no effect on the final expression. That means that I for if for this group, if the c is one, or if the c is zero, in this group it doesn't matter. The result will be the same. So we see that uh, for this group, group one. Uh, in blue, C doesn't uh, doesn't affect anything. Even if it's one, then it, then we have one. If it's zero, then it's zero. It uh, so we list it here. We see that, and we see that C changes. So we just forget about C. It has no effect. And the same with, with B. B changes, and as you see. B is uh, here, 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 and here. And you can see that uh, B doesn't influence on the result. If B is 0 or 1, the result inside this group is always 1. So we also forget about B. What we care about in this case for this group is A because it doesn't change. If it changed, then it will, we will uh, uh, get another result, we will get out of this group. And that's how we find uh, uh, a term, uh, a variable or several variables which, which influence the expression. So the result, the term for first group will be A. So we did exactly the same thing as we did uh, in the last video.
but now for three variables. So the rule of thumb is not just the thumb, it's just the rule. If the variable changes inside the group, as we see B changes and C changes, then it doesn't influence it, because if it doesn't influence the result, because if it changes, then it doesn't matter. If it doesn't change, then it's the, bar the variable that matters. So the, f uh, the first part of the result, the first term of the result is A. Then we write plus, and now we have group 2. And let's say group 2 is this purple one. Group number 2. And again, what we do, uh, we write what variables do we have. Actually, uh, uh, as for group 1 and as for any groups, it's uh, not absolutely necessary to write down all the values because uh, as you go, as you practice more, you'll be able to see uh, it without writing uh, the cases out. For example, for the first group, you see that uh, you'd see directly that A doesn't change. It just doesn't change for this group. That means it matters. And you see that uh, B is changes. Zero here and one there. And the same for C. C changes. As you can see, uh, B, C, first one is B, and now one is C. And so uh, it's, it's not totally necessary to write them out, but when you start practicing that, it's, uh, uh, it makes some sense to do that. Uh, so A, B, C, what cases do we have in this group, in this purple one? I have 0, 1, 1 for this cell, write down 0, 1, 1, then for this cell it's 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, for this cell it's A is 1, and B, C are 1's as well, 1, 1, 1, and the last cell, this one, a is 1, we see 1, 0, so it's 1, 1, 0. And so what we do again, we just look and see what variables doesn't matter. A doesn't matter here because it changes. That means we don't take it into account. And C doesn't matter because it also changes. That means it, it isn't influencing the result. And the only uh, variable left is B, so we write it down, it doesn't change, and that means it contributes to the result. And you can see that without writing out all the cases for this group, you can see that B here and here, it's, it, it's always one, and it doesn't matter. Uh, and all other variables, C changes, it's one here and zero here, and a changes. It's, it's zero in these two cells and one in these two cells. And now it may be, maybe now it's, it should be a bit more clear to you why it was crucial to write uh, the kernel map with a sequence where only one variable changes. You see, we wrote the sequence for, for multiple variables as 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, 0, 0, 0. And as I explained before, it's a type of sequence that's called gray code, but it doesn't matter. Uh, it's a type of sequence where each next uh, uh, item in the, is in the sequence changes only by one value. For example, so it's an uh, uh, example of the sequence 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, one zero. It's here on every time, every next, every next item, only one variable changes. You remember I explained that. And we need to have the sequence in Kana map in order that it is easier to see when the variable changes or not. For example, if we have such a sequence, then we know that for that uh, at one, at once the the uh, cells that are closest, that are to the left, to the right, and to the bottom of the original cell, they change uh, the case of variables that correspond to it only by one. 
So for example, we have uh, this cell, right? And if we go right, then it's only C what changed. If we go to the left, then it's only B that changed, you see? If you go to the right, then it was uh, 1, 1, 1. We move to one step, we have 1, 1, 0, and so on. To the left, to the right, to the top, and to the bottom. To the top, as it overlaps the whole thing, the whole table. Uh, and the grouping rules allow us to select those cases uh, from which we can clearly see which of the variables influence this group of cases and which are in which doesn't. So uh, we figured out that uh, for group 2, which is purple, A and C doesn't matter. So we write down the only variable that matters in this group, which is P. And so we have our last group, group 3, and it's green, so, uh, and it's pretty the same as group 2. And so let's do that again and do rewrite all the cases for it. Uh, well, we can evaluate it without that, and we can just try that right now. We see that uh, 1 doesn't change this. Uh, does it? No, it doesn't change for these two, and it changes for these two. That means one doesn't matter. Uh, that means what about B? B, it's one for these two, and it's zero for these two. Then it also doesn't matter because it differ it differs from one cell to another. And C, C is zero for these two and zero for these two. That means the C is the only thing that matters. But let's write it down to see it more clearly. So, uh, first, let's start with this cell. The cases are 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0. Then this cell, 0, 0, 0, all zeros. This cell, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, 0. And this cell is 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0. And so, again, we see that A changes, that means it doesn't matter. B changes, that means it also doesn't matter. And C stays zero, that means that the C contributes uh, to the value, to the result value. And that means that the result will be A plus B and plus C. And that is the result of the uh, simplification of the original expression that was this one a pretty big one and we simplified that to ABC to A plus B plus C and we know for sure that it is the uh, the simplest possible uh, the simplest possible form for this expression